Welcome to the Deep Dive. Hey there. Today we're jumping into uh, a really interesting chat from the Joe Rogan experience. Right. That was episode hashtag 2311 with Jeremy and Edward Harris from Gladstone AI. Exactly. Aired April 25th, 2025. Our mission here is to sort of unpack the big ideas about where AI is heading fast. Yeah. The risks, the ethics, and you know what makes a company like Gladstone tick focusing on AI safety. So what was the first thing that like jumped out? Well, it's really how recent this huge leak in AI actually was. They pinpointed around 2020. Ah, right. The shift from GPT-3 to chat GPT. Exactly that. It wasn't just a small step. It felt uh, almost exponential. And that was down to computing power mainly and data. Yeah, basically. A <laughs> massive boost in computer, like giving AI a much, much faster processor and just enormous amounts of data to learn from. Okay, yeah. And they were saying how that hit well, pretty much every industry, right? Mm. Rogan seemed genuinely amazed. I think he joked about AI suddenly being able to, like, write essays instantly. Huh, yeah. It shows how quickly it all matured, almost overnight for many people. But that speed, it brings up some serious questions, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. That rapid progress, it naturally makes you think about the downsides. Like what, specifically? Well, it, the conversation definitely touched on the risks. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, AI being used maliciously. Things like deep fakes. Precisely. Using deep fakes to spread disinformation, maybe even swing elections, stuff like that. Scary stuff. So the need for some kind of control or oversight, that was a clear theme. Definitely. Which kind of leads into Gladstone AI's whole reason for being. Right. Their mission is basically building ethical AI, specifically thinking about national security. Yeah, that's the core. They kept mentioning this principle of putting humanity first. Which sounds good. I mean, essential, really. It is. It's about making sure this powerful tech actually benefits us all in the long run. Bridging that gap between the um, super fast tech development and the policy needed to guide it. Did they seem positive about how that's going, like with government involvement? Surprisingly, yeah. yeah. They noted it as a positive trend, that governments are getting more involved. Yeah. They also mentioned their 80-20 uh, approach to data security. 80-20? How does that work? It means focusing. Like... 80% of their effort on the absolute most critical security risks, the big vulnerabilities, while still leaving room for progress and innovation on the other 20%. A balance. Interesting. It wasn't just about the algorithms, though, was it? They talked about their own journeys, too. Yeah, the human side. Yeah. Both founders, Jeremy and Edward, they came from physics backgrounds. And then switched to AI, also around 2020. Yep, that same pivotal time. It makes you wonder what triggered such a big change for them passion, maybe, seeing where things were heading? I think so. They talked about recognizing AI's huge potential right then. There was this um, sense of urgency, mm. you know, a, a drive to get involved